Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy, and I am spending the morning with the Zoo School Preschool. If you don't know about this preschool, it is awesome, and it's a great place to have your kids. Come check out the zoo and go to school and learn. It's awesome. And today, we're going to do a really cool thing called the Bird Beak Buffet. This is one of my favorite things because I'm a bird nerd. I love birds. And so we're going to talk about the different bird beaks that are out there. And it's a really cool activity. So come here, follow me. Check this out. What are you doing here? Now, this here, this is actually, you know what that is? Humming hummingbird. Hummingbird, exactly. And a hummingbird has a really long beak and a really cool tongue, and they like to suck the nectar out of flowers, don't they? So what better way to mimic that than by using, what's this thing? One of these uh, turkey basters, right? And you just kind of squeeze it, suck it up, just like a hummingbird would do. That is so cool, and that's how they get nectar, and they have all that energy. And it squeezes and gets wet, and it's all fun to get wet and crazy, isn't it? And this makes even more... Yeah, it does. It makes more. And then over here, look at this. Check this out. This is actually, what kind of bird is this? What is that? Pig. It's a hawk, like a falcon. Yeah, exactly. And what falcons and hawks have is they have a really sharp beak that tears meat, right? And so what you could do is use scissors, and what are you doing? You're cutting this clay like that, just like a raptor's beak would cut the meat that it eat. How cool is that? And you think that's cool? Come here, follow me. Woodpeckers. We've all seen woodpeckers here in Montana pecking out bugs out of the wood. Look at this. This is actually a pine cone with rice in there. And just like a woodpecker, you use these tweezers to try to get in there and get these bugs out, just like a real woodpecker would do. How is that? So cool. And last but not least, come here. We've got a couple other tables. Here, come on. Come over here. I want to show you something. Ducks. I don't know how much you know about ducks, but ducks have this really cool beak that when they're underwater, and they like to sift through stuff and get little pieces of plants. And so we have this really cool filter you might find in a shower or a sink, and you can rub it through here, and you can filter out these little coffee grounds just like a duck would filter out in a pond, maybe little bugs or little pieces of plants, things like that. And speaking of water birds, last but not least, we've got this one. What do you think that is? It's a heron or a crane. And what they do is they have this big giant beak, and they have to whoop, pluck fish out of the water, and look at what's happening right here. She's using chopsticks to pluck these fish out of the water, just like a heron or a crane would do. Now, what's so cool about this activity, guys, is not only is it something you can do, but it's something that they learn here at the zoo to learn about all the different types of adaptations that birds in this world have. Just an awesome activity. Do you love doing this? Yeah, pretty fun. Hey guys, I am Jeff the Nature Guy here at the Zoo School Preschool. Until next time, I'll see you real soon here at the zoo. Have fun.